Okay, this is uh, another test with the MP cinders. It's unmodified. I haven't bent anything. It's right out of the box using a stock OEM 18 ohm gauge and a 5.1 regulator. And this is a full test. And as you can see, it's not reading full. And I'm going to stop everything here and I'm going to do a resistance check on that cinder to show you what the problem is. All right, as you can see here, we're at about 15 ohms. It drifts around a little bit. And 15 ohms is not good for showing a full tank. 15 ohms, should, it'll end up being right there at about 15.5, which was what part of my testing was doing. So uh, it's going to read above one half, maybe about three quarters of a tank. And that's kind of what we were seeing. All right, this is the half tank test. As you can see, the gauge is reading a quarter of a tank. I've got the half tank gauge on there. The arm is actually hitting the top of the baffle. And I would have to move this up about as much as I have bent it to give a half a tank as it is when it's down there, and you get a quarter of a tank when you're really at a half. And so let's see where the needle sits. Okay, we're pretty close to a half right there on the needle. And you can see how far up that this arm is to do a half a tank. And so it should be down there, it should be you know, this arm being bent down will make this come up like that and give you a half a tank. So all you guys out there that are running this setup with an OEM gauge, you're just uh, uh, reading really bad at this point. But you got gas. I'm pausing. We're going to go to a quarter. Okay, at a quarter, we're reading really R, and as you can see, I've got the gauge set there at a quarter. The long arm is doing the reading for the level. The arm here is, short arm is just bottomed out. So, that's a problem. So this is the R test, and it's almost uh, pretty close to being all right, but uh, uh, you're pretty close to running out of gas at this point. There's the gauge. So next I'll just drop it on down here right now. Go to empty, and you can see it head on down somewhere around empty. Pause. So when you're empty, uh, it's pretty pretty close right there, and the float is at the bottom, and so when you're out of gas at this point, uh, your gauge is probably reading really good, but when you get down there towards uh, R, you don't have much left. Okay, I'm going to just kind of point out a few things here uh, in the differences between the OEM, uh, not OEM, but the MP on bent and the MP bent uh, cinders. Uh, as you can see, we have this bump right here that hits the top of the baffle, and that this uh, it goes all the way up, but yet the resistance is not correct. And so what has to happen, at least to get the resistance correct, we saw that in the video, uh, we need to bend, excuse me, bend this tab downward so that that uh, arm will go further. I'll show you the other arm. 
you can see actually let's do it like that you can see how much I bent that arm down to get 10.6 ohms otherwise it'd be up there and that's a lot of resistance there uh, for a uh, full tank all right so that is one uh, problem so once you bend once you bend that up like uh, that tab then what happens here is that that makes this float go way up well you can't have that otherwise it'd be doing a lot of full and it wouldn't be calibrated right so I had to bend this down so that it would be almost right at the top of the tank or right at the top of the tank whereas this one is kind of at the top of the tank you can see but I if you bend that tab down this it is going to come uh, go up further so then you have to bend this down okay the next thing is the long arm the long arm is uh, going to be just a little bit in trouble here I hope this didn't switch upside down. There we go. My battery's getting low. Hang on here a second. Okay, here we go. So, <clears throat> I did bend this just a little bit right here, and I straightened that arm out. And that seemed to cure uh, and made it more linear. I don't think that I'm finished bending, but I want to get the tank out of my... Uh, Super Beetle to do the final stuff, but anyway, it's close. I'd rather run this than that for sure. This is junk right now. Okay, I think I'm concluding this uh, test, and uh, we'll see what happens when I pull my tank.